Texas. Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday and our moms can be so influential in our lives and that's especially true for our lawmakers. For some it really defines the bills they push for and how they present legislation here in our state. A fixture at the Capitol for 10 years, Senator Kate Brophy McGee, mother of three, is among the women who've gone from spectator to decision maker at the legislature. I think our focus is shifting more and more to looking at the whole family and to representing and bringing those women's issues to the fore. Finding solutions to prevent teen suicide, safe schools, and forming a committee to investigate murdered and missing indigenous women and girls are some of the bipartisan legislation led by women, the governor signed this session. Moms do what moms do. We come together, solve problems, and make sure Arizona is the best place to raise our families. Grandmothers, mothers, daughters, they comprise nearly 40% of the state legislature. Republicans, Democrats, the debates are often fierce and partisan. Their voice is loud and clear. I know that every single day my mom is watching on the live stream to, to see how her daughter's doing fighting for Arizonans and you know, she's always been my number one cheerleader. My the roses at the Capitol are in bloom this Mother's Day, a sign of a long session and an appreciation. A mother's work is never done. Right now there are 35 women, 22 in the House, 13 in the Senate. Let's not forget voters elected Kathy Hoffman, Katie Hobbs, Sandra Kennedy and Kimberly Yee in statewide elections last year.